Hello and thanks for watching. Let's play some more Total War Rome 2 in the Roman Ascension campaign. So I have a few things to do before I can let the turn cycle here. Mainly, I have a another level up here. Let's go ahead and give him additional movement range. And I can make this army that's just conquered Telefertum into... Actually, they just fought off an army uh, near Telefertum. I can give them the inexorable, inexorable conquerors uh, skill. I think that's a skill, right? No, let's take a look. Tradition, yes. Uh, which just makes them more powerful. Um, I'm tempted to go ahead and finish off that army. Yeah, why not? Remaining force 99%. Die. Okay. Good. Didn't lose anyone. On the move. Ready for orders. I can get back into position at Telefertum. So this is the only remaining presence of the Iceni. I'm tempted to lower taxes again. But that would really... It wouldn't really help much, and it would reduce my income significantly. I would r prefer to continue building up my war chest. Because, again, I am pushing for a civil war. Uh -huh. Ah, one of my spies leveled up. Cool. Minus one turns to recover from wounds. Great. Gave her some additional zeal, which I can use to improve her assassination ability in the next couple of turns. Oh, yes, I have another spy heading up to assist. So I'm hoping that uh, my allied army, I have allies down here that have sent an army all the way up here to help fight. Should be able to move somewhat quickly now. As soon as... What I need to do is stabilize public order before I cross the English Channel here. Now they want a peace treaty, and they're paying me for it. Offer you no. No way. Because I'm going to conquer them soon. Like, the last thing I want to do is go back on a peace treaty I just formed. My honorable master would have me talk of... My honorable master would... There is much to be said for Genero. That is they want 18,000 for a military alliance. No way. As spirits have noticed that our treasure stores are wanting, can you help with this small matter? Maybe if they give me a slightly lower price, I might be willing to pay them that, because I have a, quite a war chest now. I told you. As spirits have noticed that our treasure stores are Our warriors... These factions continue to want me to pay them for various favors. Rebellion imminent in Magna Germania. Alright, so these are all... all right, let's go ahead and finish these guys off. <laughs> They're running away like, oh god, oh god, oh god! No, 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 no! Yes, 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 yes. So this is just a rebel army that resulted from low public order. This territory that I'm in right now has changed hands a lot recently, so uh, the locals are not happy about it. <laughs> oh, look. Archers. That might be a first. Start deployment. Ah, uh, a lot of trees. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's see. So the artillery can hopefully fire from there. Meantime, eh, I'll just leave everyone as is. All right, so the artillery. Where's the general? Right there. And he's in range. Good. Use explosive rounds and fire. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and order some folks into position.
Gonna have my cavalry hang out way in the back. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna have them hang out up here on this hill. Artillery, fire, please. Fire. Thank you. Got a few of them. Are they running for cover? I think they are. Useless. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Got a few guys there. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. That's better. Flaming ammo just seems to end up doing more damage because it's still not very accurate, but... That's better. But it rolls through them, like, very damagingly. is turning in our favor. Our hidden units have been discovered. You guys just stop everything you're doing. Okay, good. Our general is under attack. Losing it there very quickly. The enemy general is dead. Very good. End battle. Decisive victory yet again. I prefer tongue-tight knowledge to ignorant loquacity. God. I gotta write that down. I'm seriously writing that quote down.
I prefer tongue tied knowledge to ignorant loquacity. Cicero. Awesome. Alright. I'm going to enslave the captives from that battle. Put my army back up and flee them, so public order will still not improve enough. But I'm going to give them a uh, melee damage tradition that'll help. And in Flevum, I still can't promote him, even though he's won a few battles now. I can promote my guy in Teleporto. Thank God. So we're at 49% influence, slowly improving every turn. Let's see if there's anything we can do to... There's an old general from the House of Junia. Ooh, he's ambitious. I don't like that. Septimus, Fadius, Trigeminus for the House of Cornelia. Eh, that'll cost me influence. I'm not going to play around with that too much. I just need to trust my influence to slowly build back up. All right. Oh, this is our new spy. Let's have her hunker down and start getting some experience. Oh, this guy needs to be collecting taxes. All right, now in Telefertum. All right, I'm going to let them continue to rest. Things in Aversus are also not good. Oh, this guy needs to be collecting taxes, too. <laughs> I haven't had my new uh, patricians collecting taxes. That's a missed opportunity. Not that I'm hurting for money, but... 166,000 gold ducats, as uh, Arumbo would say. <laughs> ah, the rock day has expanded. I can go ahead and improve on some stuff here. Uh... Yeah, there's a food shortage. I'll build a public forum and give them the benefit of uh, additional food production in a bit. Token, perhaps a modest gift of coin, would have my people see you in a new light. Hmm. Again, I'm not going to pay you for an aggression pact. Sorry. This is a time for just. That's more like it. Non aggression pact that you don't ask me money for. Domnonii joins your enemies. I don't even know who they are. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't. Leave them. Let's have them be a. Uh, mm, mm. Leave them. Well, yeah, why not? I'll have them be a trade port, a harbor. Because there's some. There's a, there's a trade route that goes all the way back through here. So that, that, that could potentially be extremely lucrative. Uh, I have no really intentions to go up further. Pretty cool. If I conquer there, I'm definitely in territory that the Roman Empire never even really held. <laughs> That's a nice thing. The, the game does let you go beyond the boundaries of the traditional Roman Empire slightly. All right, let's see. I have a pretty skilled spy moving in here. Alright, things in Bagakum are looking much better. Let's 
to end the turn. We are a mighty people, well versed are in you? the uses of. Not as mighty as me. Friends. I will give you non aggression pact when you don't want money for it. Some of the other factions have figured that out. You figure it out, Athens. <laughs> will you not give our people a little gold? You have much, and I'll. No, I'm not going to go into a defensive alliance with them. I just have a feeling I'm going to run them over pretty soon. As much as I feel bad saying that. Faustus Cato. The man has reached the end of his days. Ah, uh, was he one of mine? I don't remember. I, th I think he was the House of Cornelia's leader, so. Got a partition level up. So we'll give him that, that. And that. Okay. Very good. Quite a war chest. This is. This has been an interesting campaign. It's just going extraordinarily well. There are definitely some large forces that I'm not looking forward to fighting. But absent them, um, we've really just kind of run over the territory that we've conquered so far. Which is a nice change of pace. I'm just going through and seeing what I can, what I can do real quick. Can I promote anybody? Oh, I'm back to 50% influence. Very good. Slowly climbing the ladder. Oh, and I can promote the guy in Flevum. Final. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll I'm retire this guy to Rome, pretty soon, just because his influence is growing so rapidly. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here. And what I'm going to do in the next... I need public order to improve in some of these places. And it's going to take a few turns before I can really bring my forces up north and cross the English Channel. But in the meantime, I do have a fleet patrolling. Um, if I didn't think that they might hit me back hard for taking Camilla Dunan, I might do it. But, in, but I'm just going to leave them there. Uh, until such time as I'm ready to really move in. But I think everyone in this area. Yep, Lucius Lentulus. Odius Polus. Yep. Lutatius Catullus. Vantius Paetus. All of them. All of them, all of them, all of them are members of my family, and so is that admiral that's in the water. So the House of Julia is leading the charge. Thanks for watching so far. We're going to recover, do some civil maintenance for the next uh, couple of episodes probably, and then prepare to cross the English Channel once public order improves in these newly conquered areas. Thanks for watching, and actually that's a lie. We might take care of them in another episode or two. But first, I need public order to approve. So yeah, <laughs> see you then. Hope you'll join me.